हेलो नाइन्थ क्लास नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी आर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स विच इज टिश्यू एंड दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टिश्यूज फाउंड इन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स और इन ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन दिस फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दैट अबाउट प्लांट एंड प्लांट टिश्यू एंड एनिमल टिश्यू प्लांट टिश्यू एंड एनिमल टिश्यू आर बोथ आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर बिकॉज प्लांट आर स्टेशनरी ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड एनिमल्स कैन मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू other place that's why there are different type of structures and different type of tissue which are found in plants and animals so that we can say that plant and animals uh, tissues are different from each other accordingly to this we can say that the structure of a animals or a animals are lit, uh, more complex than the plant cells and plant tissues as we know that plant are stationary object they cannot move from one place to other place so they have their tissues in them which forms which reproduce which converts which make them tall and develop more uh, tissues and more branches for them in the case of animal tissue animal can move from one place to other friends and it consists of so many organs in them which has different type of structures and tissues in in them now we are going to study about first is a plant tissue in plant tissue first we have to study about the marismatic tissue what does marismatic uh, marismatic tissue means marismatic tissue are those tissues which helps the plant which grows themselves which can uh, which make the growth of the plant the uppermost and the internal structure of the plant is the marismatic tissue the growth of the plant mainly occurs at a specific region as we all know plant consists when we grow a plant mainly a plant develops from its height it grow from its height area and its roots area so that area from which a plant develops themselves the uppermost and the lower post area that area are that tissues are known as marismatic tissue which helps the plant to grow in uh, of above the ground and in under the ground that specific region is known as mars Uh, that specific tissues are known as marismatic tissue marismatic tissue is mainly divided into three parts that is apical lateral and intercalary tissues this is the figure in we can say that the oldest tissues are known as lateral tissues intercalary tissues are found on the nodes of the plant as we see in the if you uh, you have seen in the uh, uh, sugar cane you see some nodes between the sugar cane structure that node part is known as intercalary part in the uh, uh, plant cells and the uppermost part is known as apical tissue this apical tissue is growed uh, uh, after this slowly grows and makes the plant uh, forms uh, uh, get a specific height of a plant and develops into a the uh, provide growth to the plant that apical tissue this marismatic tissues are always active they are very active as we see when we put seed into the soil you see after some time after some week the plant start developing plant start growing from and if you see after some time the plant makes so gain height over and um, get a maximum height so say they are the marismatic tissue are those tissues which help the plant to grow more uh, faster than uh, other things they are very active tissue they are dense cytoplasm cytoplasm are also present there which are dense means they are closely connected to each other and it is uh, consist of a uh, so many cells in between them like vacuoles vacuoles are not present in marismatic tissue this cytoplasm vacuoles we have already studied in our previous chapter in chapter 5th we have read, read it about what is cytoplasm what is vacuoles if you have not seen that video go through the video the chapter 5th videos first see that video then you can easily understand what is cytoplasm and what is vacuoles after this marismatic tissue there are permanent tissue as the name itself define that permanent tissue those those tissue which are fixed which are permanent in plant which uh, uh, which grows uh, in previously they grows and after some time they gain a specific area and they gain uh, they convert into a permanent tissue this permanent tissue has their specific reason specific role and they lose the when the tissue like that uh, apical tissue then the apical tissue is growing slowly 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 and after some time this intercalary and lateral tissue they uh, lose their ability to grow they cannot further divide themselves and they do not perform any cell division then they convert into a permanent tissue at a specific reason this permanent tissue the process of and after that the process of taking up into a when a tissue 
converts into when it loses its ability to develop and to uh, grow uh, further it uh, changes it to takes it converts it shape size and function into a permanent form this process to converting from a tissue to a permanent form permanent tissue this process is known as differentiation process what uh, it is known as it is known as differentiation process which means a tissue is now fully converted into a permanent tissue form it it gains its specific shape size and function which never been further divided or which never been further converted into other form after that the permanent tissue is divided into two form simple permanent tissue and a complex permanent tissue first we are going to study about the simple permanent tissue simple permanent tissue when we talk about the structure of the plant structure if we cut a stem area or a leaf area or any part of the plant we see some specific region specific area specific diagram over there and the upper most layer is the epidermis layer that upper most layer down to that upper most layer there are so many layers which are no which forms a simple permanent tissue and uh, the epidermis is the upper most layer of a plant Uh, and, this, and under the epidermis there are few layers which forms a permanent tissue parenchyma parenchyma is present uh, lower than the epidermis tissue this parenchyma is the most common permanent tissue found in the plant they consist of unspecified tissue they consist of a uh, cells and specialized cells which are which are not specific and they can also consist with a thin cell wall they consist of thin cell wall very thin cell wall and also they are living cell and loosely arranged loosely arranged means they have gap between their tissues their cells and the gap between the cells are uh, the, the large space between the cells are there and the, this large space between the cells is also known as intercellular space so uh, after that they also perform store food they store the food for the further development of the plant and other than that simple permanent tissue consists of a parenchyma is further divided into so many different types of tissues like collenchyma 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 sclerenchyma and acrenchyma collenchyma and collenchyma sclerenchyma and acrenchyma this different type of permanent tissue are there we can read uh, we go through them in our uh, other video in detail and this is the our first video and this is our first part in this you have to write about the melasma tissue you have to write this notes in your notebook uh, everything written on the board should be written in your notebook and you have to learn and once go through the chapter read chapter uh, pages from uh, 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 read uh, chapter 6 till the page number 70 and uh, you can understand all this thing very easily put your notebook there write this all thing in your notebook then read the book line by line if you have any doubt any queries you can ask in the classroom comment box okay thank you